All right, guys, welcome to the final build of Derp Fest for the Poco X3 Pro. I know I have been sounding since the last few days that this is really a big, big deal, but it doesn't really feel like that, right? But trust me, over the years or over the months, whatever you want to call it, from day one when I've been using the Poco X3 Pro, Derp Fest has been one of those ROMs that I really, really like, would recommend to you guys, and also use it while I'm traveling. So before we get into the complete review of Derp Fest's final build if you haven't already please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this also we have our giveaway of the premium case going on so link is mentioned in the description please go ahead and click on that and participate now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kalash let's get going Now, if you want to watch this same video in Hindi, please subscribe to Phonops Hindi because this exact video will be available in Hindi as well. So first things first, we will talk about all the important things that matter in this particular ROM. So let's see what we have here. We have automatic brightness enabled. So let's go ahead and disable that. So if you go to about phone, you go to Android 12 L, you will see that this is Derp Fest. It clearly says over here, final Shinju. And uh, yeah, there's extensive change log over here. May security patch and Kyrie Light Kato kernel. Now we did release a short video about uh, the benchmarks of this particular ROM. You can go ahead and watch that. So the moment you boot into this particular ROM, you have a very, very similar story to all the other custom ROMs. And uh, right off the bat, the moment you boot into this ROM, you will see that it is absolutely bloatware free. It is very, very bare bones and it comes packed as far as customization features are concerned. Even if you talk about Google feed, you would just love the amount of smoothness this ROM has to offer for Dubfest. As you can see, it is very, very fluid and it just doesn't want to stop scrolling. And that is something I really, really adore about custom ROMs. Now, if you swipe from the top to bottom, you will see that you do have a ton of quick tiles over here. That's because I've enabled a few additional ones. And uh, if you go to the edit menu, you will see that you have not only the basic tiles, but a ton of other options as well like screen recorder, audio mode, then you do have things like your privacy access tiles, you have reading mode, reboot, sound search, QR code scanning, and a few other options like HBM, direct sound, CABC. So basically the Derface team have given their everything to this particular update just because it is going to be a last and final update. Now, if you actually go to settings and you go to the Derp space, I will quickly take you through each and every settings because uh, Normally in these uh, complete review videos, we don't go into each and every detail, but let's let's do it today because probably this is the last video for this device on Derp Space. Anyways, battery settings, you can customize your battery style. You can cust just look over here. It keeps changing instantly. As you can see, battery percentage can be kept inside the icon. It can be hidden. It can also be next to the icon. Toggle colorful battery icon. So that is something I didn't see working. You can have a, you know, battery bar at the top and you can have a custom charging color. You can have blend colors. You can have a lot of thickness for the battery bar. So all those features are present and it's very, very interesting to see the customization here as well. If you go to carrier label, you can show the carrier label on lock screen, custom carrier label, like say phone ops. Let's do this. Okay, as you can see, phone ops is there. So yeah, the custom carrier label is working. You have a ton of options for your clock and date settings. You can keep it on the right or you can keep it on the left as well. There you go. AM, PM can be enabled or disabled. I prefer to have a 24 hour clock. You can go ahead and enable the date in your own style. So you can choose a date format like this one. The thing here is it might make your uh, you know top status bar a little more cluttered, but let's keep it that way. Then you have status bar items as to what exactly do you want to see in the status bar. You can enable or disable those options. Moving on, you do have traffic indicators, which is enabled whenever there is up and down traffic. You will see that indication there. You can enable the Derpfest logo over here. You can have colored icons, Bluetooth battery status, show data disabled icons. So if we were I think we already have data disabled, right? We don't. Okay. Let's go ahead and disable data. Let's see now. There you go. There's an exclamation mark over here. So you have a 4G icon option, Volti icon option, different types of Volti options over here. 
different types of uh, you know voice over wi-fi icons over here so let's select this one yeah so a lot of customization there you have roaming indicator small mobile type icon show call icon strength show call strength icon this that my goodness the customization is just too long now if you go to notifications you will see you have ambient edge lightning kill app button force expand notifications notification count uh, annoying notification, notification vibration. You have customization for your heads up. You can enable or disable them. You can enable or disable re-ticker. Replace your notifications with a redesigned version of tickers. Slim and less invasive than standard notification. Vibrate to connect, vibrate on call waiting, and vibrate on disconnect. All these options are present. Now, you can enable smart pull down as well, as you can see. Okay, as you can see this. So if you swipe from the left, you will get the quick tiles. Swipe from the right, you will get your notifications. And you have access to your notification history as well. There you go. This is the quick version. Music track tile, data usage, brightness slider. The brightness slider position can be at the top or at the bottom. Now just have a look at it. It's over here. So let's go to never show. That can be disabled and show always there you go so pretty comprehensive customization you can have different animations like rotate and stuff for your quick tiles as well and moving on you do have your lock screen shortcut options lock screen ui wow just look at the amount of customization you have over here you can enable or disable the ripple effect and uh, ambient and always on display now i would not like you or recommend you to use always on display because of course this is a LCD panel and it will drain your battery. Moving on, you have battery charging light option. Remember there is a LED over here and you have customization options. So you can override monitor customization as well. You have nav bar pulse. In case you use a nav bar, this is a customization for you. And there are some navigation bar options as well. And then last but not the least, you do have general settings in which you have unlimited Google photos and nothing else. So. All in all, you know, Derp Space gives you a ton of customization, which is very, very interesting. And if you look at the other features and option, everything is present, including Monet UI. Everything works as expected. Even if you go to apps over here, you will see that you do have the game space available. If you saw yesterday's live stream, we had a splendid experience playing on this particular ROM. The phone was not heating up and it was working absolutely fine, giving me 60 FPS, 58 to 60 FPS most of the time and a pretty good experience there as well. Now, apart from this, if we talk about two important things, one is the charging. Now, the charging speed is around 30-ish watts. It is not giving us the complete 33 watts, maybe five or 10 minutes more to charge from zero to 100 compared to the stock ROM. And that's completely fine. If we talk about the battery usage or battery life, pretty good experience. I'm easily getting seven to eight hours of screen on time on this particular ROM with extremely heavy usage, like back-to-back -back gaming and streaming. I can easily get around three hours of that experience as well. So, you know, Dubspace or Dubface, Dubface is customization. Dubface is giving a pretty rock solid and amazing experience. Your safety net is passing. That means your banking applications will not have any issues. You have Wideband L1 certifications, which means you will be able to consume Netflix and Amazon HD content on this not so beautiful display. Again, this is sort of a mid-range gaming device. So don't look at the display and camera. So yes. The last update for Dubfest might have a small, a very few small bugs, which in my opinion, I've not experienced. I'm telling you this by what I read in the community, but calling, texting, Wi-Fi connection, everything is a pretty, pretty good experience. You do see that there is this Google camera application, which clicks very, very decent pictures as well. And if you load up the right XML and the right Gcam, you will have an even better experience. So in my opinion, if you're a Poco X3 Pro user and you want a balanced experience when you want to play games and you want to use your phone as a daily driver as well, install Derpfest, follow our install guide. And if you want to know the benchmark numbers, you can watch shorts as well. So this was the complete review for Dubfest's last update on the Poco X3 Pro. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.